we got a new mattress and we got a puffy now why a puffy why not because it's another one of those like even Casper and purple and all of those that offer you like a hundred nights free return so on so forth test trial period and we've been sleeping on these same crappy bad mattress for I don't know forever so we were way overdue we told ourselves we were gonna get a new mattress when we moved into this house that's been two years ago now so we finally are gonna try this out we got a new mattress we're gonna see if it really is as uh, easy as everyone says it is supposedly just roll the mattress out and cut the airtight seal and watch it puff up so we'll see puffy's in the name we'll see if it really does puff up like it says You can hear it hissing as it starts to expand. <laughs> Man, it looks like it's growing. Hey, it's it's wow. puffing up like a marshmallow. That's what it's supposed to do. Forever and ever? Yeah. Yeah, you'll never get it unpuffed, that's for sure. Well, you the other hard part is to get this plastic off the under it. I'm probably not going to get the plastic out from under it, buddy. Hey, Dad, I can use my pocket size. Hey, Dad, where's my pocket size? Nobody. Hey, Dad, I can use my pocket size. Stand over here. And right here. And just hold down on this yellow, okay? Hold that down. Because I'm going to start to pull the plastic out and it's going to try to pull that yellow too, I think, okay? Ready? Is it coming? Yeah. It's a 
Is the yellow staying? Yep. And the mattress is going down. All right. Is it all out? Yep. Thanks, Cody. Now the gloves look so nice and dry. It's yeah. pretty well already puffed up, I think. And I'm gonna help you get out, I, think. I imagine it will continue to it's like a hole. keep growing for a while, maybe. Oh, I hate mattress shopping, by the way, because I feel like when you go into a mattress store, they have everything like darkened down and calm, and every bed you lay on is just like a relief. If you want to test me on that go to like at home or one of those places and lay on the crappiest cheapest mattress you can find and i promise you if it's like two o'clock in the afternoon and you're just out doing some shopping after lunch i bet you'll think it's comfortable too all right so it's a scam to go mattress shopping i'm convinced we paid a lot of money years ago for what was supposed to be the best mattress ever and it sucked. After a week, I hated it. But we kept it for like 10 more years because I paid for it. Is it comfortable? Yeah. All right, we're going to find out tonight. Mommy and Daddy both had problems with our last mattress, so we're going to see. Anyway, got a new mattress. Hopefully, with me running around and cutting the plastic, you guys got to see this thing puff up. But it did it in like a minute. It's kind of cool, kind of scary. You saw how much I wrestled with it. Uh, I mean the instructions just say yeah roll it out and cut her open but it didn't really it didn't have labels I, I would have liked if there was labels on it that said like orient it this way on your bed um, just to kind of help because obviously I had it wrong once or twice um, but by the time I got it all folded out it was actually really easy to handle once it was once it was folded out like as a unexpanded cookie if you will that was actually the easier way to handle it trying to handle it all rolled up on itself was actually kind of a pain in the butt but yeah, just as soon as you cut that plastic, puffs right up. So, new mattress, we shall see.